Hey everybody, welcome back to Susan Lynn Psychic Medium, my channel here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. Listen, today we're going to be talking about star seeds. What are star seeds? Are you a star seed? What role do star seeds play in our society? Um, now, I want to preface this by saying that I have not read one book on star seeds. I haven't even done a Google search. So what I'm about to tell you today may be slightly different than what you've heard. It may be exactly what you've heard. I don't know what I am getting my information from, where I'm getting my information from, I might say, is from my spirit guides. Now, if you don't know this, I get my downloads from my spirit guides, usually as I'm doing these videos, but also I offer uh, readings, uh, psychic, mediumship, spirit guide readings, where I talk to your guides, my guides, your higher self, even those of your loved ones that have crossed over, and I give you messages from them. Now, I'm a little different than some uh, psychics, I think, in that I get information so I can tell you, yes, uh, you know, maybe you're going to get the job. Maybe, uh, no, you're not going to get the job, whatever. That's basically psychic prediction, predictions. We're, we're predicting based on the energy around you. It's not 100% because guess what? We all have free will. We all have free will to do whatever we want. If you don't, if you're not having a great day, the day of that interview, or you're late, or you don't go to that interview, guess what? Doesn't matter if I told you you were going to get the job. Free will on your behalf may have caused it so that it didn't work out, right? Sometimes we have, uh, we, we sacrifice, we uh, sabotage ourselves because we don't think we're good enough, right? So even though the psychic energy suggests you're going to get the job, you may not. Now, as far as what I'm getting for these um, star seeds, when I do my readings, I, for whatever reason, and I'm blessed, truly blessed <laughs> to have this happen to me, but I get just amazing people to read, like um, people that are having an awakening, right? Um, are very, you know, they still may be calling about their job or their relationship, but they're also calling about their spiritual life, their spiritual awakening. They have questions. They need guidance in that area. So um, even if you called me um, and had some questions about some of those more mundane things, sometimes the answer is, or part of the answer is, you're a star seed. What does that mean? So when I'm doing my readings, and this is what's taught me, okay, I'm going to tell you what I've learned in my readings, okay? Um, what I have learned is that star seeds, and, and I almost want to come up with a new name for them because I feel like this, it, it's a little bit broader category than maybe whatever textbook star seeds are. Um, but, but star seeds, the people that I've read that I've come to identify as star seeds for lack of any other definition are people that have not incarnated so long on earth. So if you think, I'm going to just throw some random numbers out here. They're just for clarification. I'm not saying anything is exact. Okay. But if you say an old soul, a baby, you see a baby and you think, oh, that's an old soul. Why do we say that? Why Have you ever stopped to think, why do we say that when we see a baby and we look into their eyes and we think that's an old soul? It's because that baby or that child just seems to have this energy around them that they've lived a lot, that they've seen a lot, they've experienced a lot. They have a wiseness about them that we associate with knowledge maybe with knowledge of having thousands of lifetimes here on on earth right so an old soul is kind of the opposite of a star seed a star seed is someone who has not incarnated here very often and again for sake of just illustration and not not these are not exact numbers okay but just for illustration um i find that let's take uh let's just say if a person i'm talking to has um, certain characteristics, which I'll tell you in a minute. 
Um, I would know that they have incarnated here less times as a star seed than a separate person with different characteristics. They would have incarnated here more times as a star seed. Both of those people, both of those types of people and all those people in between will have incarnated much less than say me. Okay. So, um, so let me talk to you about star seeds. Star seeds are, when I talk to my clients, these are the, um, the indicators, right? I, I just, just click, 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 click. I know that this person has not incarnated here very often, whether they're a star seed or not, whether we're using that moniker or not, doesn't really matter. It's just a person who really hasn't been on planet earth a whole lot. So uh, I would say a whole lot is thousands of lives, okay? We're talking 100 lives, right? Or, or 50 lives or maybe even 20 lives, okay? So not very many lives. So, um, and they're talking to me right now. <laughs> Don't confuse me. I'm trying to stay on track. Um, that is confusing. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna, they're going to have to tell me that in a minute because it confuses. I want to stay on this track and they're telling me about something it's about star seeds but it's about me and blah 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 because i said that i had not that i have been incarnated way more times and so they have something to say about that but i'm going to get to it please come back and remind me look humans can only do one thing at a time okay so here's the thing um okay star seeds how do you know if you're a star seed first of all you uh do not fit into your family you don't fit in. You are literally the odd person out. It doesn't mean necessarily that you don't feel loved, although a lot of times it does, but it doesn't mean you don't feel loved. It doesn't mean that you don't feel, um, you know, that you feel or that you were abused or anything like that. It, it simply means at the most basic energetic level, you do not fit into your family. They all go right, you go left. And you know, as a child, as a toddler, you start figuring that out. You start figuring out that I want to go left and they want to go right. And, and then, you know, by the time you're five or six, it's pretty evident to you because why you're always being yelled at to go right when you want to go left, right? You just don't follow the pack. You just stand out. Okay. Now that's a really big indication. Now, another indication is, and, and you want to add all these together, right? If you take one of these things, maybe it doesn't equal a star seed, but if you can check off all the things on the box or most of the things in this, in this list, then yes, I believe you should call yourselves a star seed or at least what I'm calling you as a star seed. Maybe we'll come up with a new name. Um, so the next thing is that, um, so first thing is you don't fit into your family. The second thing is you don't fit into society. You don't understand society. You don't understand, uh, your, and wherever you live, it could be France, it could be United States, it could be Mexico, it could be anywhere, wherever you live, you don't fit in. You don't understand your, your own culture. You don't understand your society. So, um, many times they don't understand capitalism. They don't understand working. They don't understand working like a dog <laughs> to pay the bills, to have a nice house and a nice car and to have the right clothes and to fit in with all these societal pressures. They don't get that. That's not something that they're likely to do. They may get an advanced degree just because they're interested in it. Maybe they, they, they have an intelligence that they want to explore. Um, but they're not, they're not the kind of people that participate in capitalism the way the majority of us do, or the majority of people do anyway. So that would be one thing. Another thing that you don't fit in with is judgment, racism. Um, this thing where you have to be first, right? At all cost. Uh, competition. You don't fit in with competition. You don't understand competition. Why am I competing against this person? It even starts in school. Why am I competing? I don't really care to compete. I don't, I don't really, you know, uh, you would be the kind of person who would go sit with the person, the, the kid in school that nobody likes, or you would sit by yourself in school. You would march to the beat of your own drummer and not in a uh, moody necessarily way, but just in your own head sort of way. You know, you're just, fo you're just happy to be in your own skin and separate from everybody else. 
Um, so, you know, you don't fit in with society. You don't fit in with capitalism. You don't fit in with racism. You don't fit in with judgment. You don't fit in with, um, the whole societal, the, the socioeconomic pressures to buy this and do that and perform this way. Those things, none of those things really matter to you. Now, because you grow up in a family and the family will have an effect on you. You may grow up to be very successful. You may grow up to have a very good job, but even then you're not really going to chase after things the way your colleagues do. So again, this not fitting in, right? It's the same basic premise of you just don't quite fit in. You leave your family. A lot of times they leave their family to go to college because they're like looking for their tribe. They're looking for other people that match them. Um, so it is common for you to try to get away from your family. Maybe that is you, you get married early to get away from your family. I mean, there's lots of ways that, that people do this. There's lots of ways that people deal with this feeling on the inside of why don't I fit in with that group? Maybe I'll go join this group or maybe I'll try that. Now, Here's another way. Um, now this, this way, this, these list of things, this next thing is not evident in all star seeds. In my very rudimentary uh, research that I've done with my own clients, I have uh, discovered that if you're a very new star seed, if you're newly in, in, incarnated to this earth, you have health problems. You, God bless you, are allergic to everything. You're allergic to our air, our water, our uh, our food, our clothes, our dyes, you know, the dyes in the clothes, everything. You just have weird allergies. You also have a lot and can mostly have a lot of illnesses, health issues, many times things that no one knows how to diagnose. No one knows what it is or, or it's rare or it's a rare version of something that's normal, right? So those people, when you add the health issues with all the other things I talked about, those people are newly, somewhat newly incarnated. I think that maybe you've had 20 lives here um, or 50 lives or less here on the planet and your body is not used to it. You're simply not used to, um, even though you have a human body, your energy is not really all that human and it just doesn't work for you. I mean, nothing works for you. Um, so um, those of you that can answer, check off all the boxes on the first half of my list, but don't have the health issues. You guys have been here, I would say a hundred times you know, or how, or, or at least more times. So your body has gotten acclimated to earth. That's the main difference. So there's basically two kinds of star seeds. The ones that are newer, they're the ones that have the health issues. The ones that have been here for a while, they have less, they have zero health issues. I mean, just normal quote unquote health issues. Now, so I've just described two different groups. When I go back to that, that first group that has been here many, many times, it's maybe they, many, many times, maybe they've been here a hundred times. The, the longer that you've been here, the more successful you are in navigating our planet, our society. So there are some of you that maybe grew up and didn't fit into your childhood. You didn't fit into your family, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. You actually loved them. They loved you and you felt different, but it didn't feel that weird to you. You were like, well, I'm a little different, but I'm okay. Right. Um, but yet you, you still at the same time, you don't really fit in with the, with the whole socioeconomic thing. You don't fit in with the, with the racism and the classism and the culture. Um, then in that case, you're a person who's incarnated a few more times, right? So you've been here enough times that you've got through the medical part you've, you know, the, the part where your body is trying to acclimate to earth, you've gotten through the part where your psyche, your soul is trying to learn its lessons and it's trying to kind of integrate into our, uh, tribe, earthlings tribe, if you will. And then the next group of those people that have been here even more times and they've, they've worked through the medical, they've worked through the tribe. And now 
they're really much more centered. They're really much more centered. Those people are the people that are pretty calm. They don't have a problem working. They don't have a problem with our tribalism. They don't have a problem. I mean, they don't fit in, but they don't have a problem. So you understand how, you know, you kind of come and then you kind of work through the different things, right? Now, um, what they were saying to me about, what they were saying to me when I said they have to remind me later was that I've asked them because I don't feel, I, I had, um, I definitely didn't fit into my family. Um, I definitely don't, didn't fit into the whole rate. My family was racist and I was, I came out of the womb, not racist. So, um, you know, you can't explain that. You can't because the, I, I literally went left when they went right, right? So, um, and I, I mainly broke most of them of their racism by the time I got up to high school. <laughs> but, um, but so, but I, I don't really see myself as a star seed. So this is interesting because they talked to me about this before and they said uh, before they said uh, they called me an ally and, and here's why and I, I think we need new names new monikers for for all of these things because uh, for one thing I think we're learning more about these things all the time and as we learn more about them we are able to kind of sort and see that where we thought this all was one group we can actually sort them into multiple groups okay so they called me an ally because I have a lot of, um, I'm, I'm very grounded. I'm a very grounded person, which makes me feel like I've been incarnated here. You know, maybe now see, that's really, that's really interesting. Cause I start, I looked, I just took a peek at my past lives and, um, and I went to, um, I've always been able to go back to the 1800s. But, you know, like I know people, I have friends that can go back to the pyramids. I mean, to the Egy Egyptian pyramids, right? Um, and I don't think I can go back that far. So I think it's interesting. I don't know what I am. <laughs> How surprising. Um, but, but they did call me an ally. And here's why. I am an experiencer. Um, an experiencer meaning uh, with, you know, UFOs and whatnot. Um, it's something I'm still coming to terms with, but I have a lot of, a lot of, um, connection to other worlds and other galaxies. I, I can talk to that, you know, a lot of mediums can Medi That's what mediums do is we go across the veil to the other side. So, um, I talk to those, those energies, those, those beings, those entities, um, you know, like the Palladians or whatnot. Right. Um, but, um, but I didn't see myself as a star seed. And so that's when the past, they were calling me an ally, meaning that even though I've maybe incarnated here more than a star seed, um, I still have connection to that, those kinds of entities and beings. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, so, right. So that's very interesting because every time I bring it up, they, they say, yes, you have star seed quality, you know, or qualities, but you may not be a star seed the way you're talking about star seeds. So you can see what I'm saying. There, there's so much to learn here. There's just so much to learn. So I want, but I'm going to go back to talking about these people that I talk to almost every day. I have a reading with one of these people of, of the readings I do every day. I usually have one, um, or let's just say I, I talk to about four a week, three to four a week star seeds. Okay. What well, now? So I, because I want to help you guys, because this is the whole point of this video is I want to give you the information for you to understand why you've experienced life here on earth the way you have. So that's important. And number two, I, I do this in my readings too. I, I want to help you um, be empowered. You know, I, I don't want to just say you're a star seed, deal with it. I want to help you be empowered in your life as a star seed. Okay, so why are you here? Big question. Why are, why are star seeds here? Why did you choose to incarnate on earth? For Christ's sakes, you might say. Um, well, you came to help us. 
You came to help us. You came as a volunteer. Uh, you came uh, to help us raise the vibration of our planet. So obviously, if you think about it, you came down here not caring about money, not caring about competition, not caring about race, right? So you, and, and, and a star seed can be any nationality, any color, race, it doesn't matter. Um, but you wouldn't care about those things. And, um, and that already puts you in a, at a higher vibration. You believe we're all one. Star seeds really see that we're all one. Uh, they don't understand why we fight. They don't understand wars. They don't understand violence, right? They don't understand these things. You're not going to find a lot of star seeds in the military. You'll find a few. God bless those people because they went in there to raise the vibration of those people around them. But, you, you know, it's not typical. That's not the typical place you're going to find them. Um, they just told me... We do find them um, around healthcare and, and the giving, uh, you know, the giving um, jobs, but but not not all because again, the reason you're here is like if you if you take um, a, a salt shaker and you just shake it, they want to sprinkle them everywhere. They don't want them to be all congregated in one career or one country or or, or even one timeline. They want us. They want to have you guys sprinkled everywhere because this is uh, two other things that I learned in my readings. First of all, so you guys are here to raise the vibration. You're here to raise the vibration. That's the bottom line. You don't even have to do anything. You don't have to become a psychic. You don't have to become anything. Being you raises the vibration because you go around and say, I don't know why we're at war. I don't understand war. I don't understand money. Why is it important to have this big expensive house? Isn't that a lot of waste? Just talking like that puts the words out there, gives the people around you the possibility of the chance to hear those words and to have a thought process. Hey, maybe I should reconsider this, right? Maybe, maybe that, maybe that's right. Maybe, maybe you catch them at the right time and you actually make an a really, really an a, a difference in their thinking. And you, and you never know. We never know. We just go about being ourselves and sometimes we make a difference. That's why you're here. So in that way, I also learned star seeds are, um, they're not resistors. They, um, you, you guys come in and you, uh, kind of break up things. Um, I, they had the word, but now it's gone again. You kind of break up things, right? You, you, um, you're not a destroyer, but you just kind of uh, break up energy, break up energy, break up energy. When people start getting this lockstep idea that race is everything, money is everything, judgment, war, blah, blah, blah. You come in and it's your, it's your job by you just being you, boom, to kind of break that up, to kind of give people the opportunity to think differently. So um, your D... Not destabilizers. I swear to God, I'm going to remember that word. Anyway, um, so I want to also say that, um, yeah, so they just they just told me about the medicine. They just told me about the health care, right? Wow, that's cool. Um, kind of heavy, but cool. Um, so those of you that are experiencing the 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 physical problems which i know there are quite a few of you ex just having physical problems things that nobody knows what they are or you just have these weird allergies you know to the dye in the clothes whatever it is right um they just told me that you guys what role you guys play is for us is you bring awareness this is amazing you bring awareness to the fact that we're wearing clothes with dyes that are chemical that maybe aren't good for the environment maybe they're not good for us right maybe you bring us uh, awareness of uh celiac and how um you can't even eat bread in the united states many people but they can go to you know europe and eat bread i mean did you guys know that you i know i have many friends that literally cannot eat bread anything gluten in the america but they can go overseas and eat bread all day and all night. Well, what's up with that? It's not that they have gluten allergies. I can tell you that because there's gluten and there's gluten. Our gluten has pesticides in it. 
Our gluten has something in it. So, so you people, star seeds that are here with medical issues, you're here as, as, as a mirror to, or as a big light to say, hey, look at me, look at this problem. We have a problem here, right? And give the doctors a chance to look at the problem. Give us all a chance to look at the problem, to solve the problem, to become aware of the problems, right? So that's, that's the role that you guys play. Um, they were going to say something else too. Um, so also star seeds. Um, this was also very interesting to me, surprisingly interesting. Um, I met a star seed, uh, through a reading and, um, that she did with me. And she is one of those star seeds that has been here enough times that she's, she's really done a good job of staying a star seed but incorporating a lot of our societal uh mores or, or norms so that she doesn't so that she can operate really well within our society but at the same time she's kept her vibration really high so i was actually or not me but the guides were actually suggesting that she actually become uh, like a star seed coach right a coach for star seeds because she understands 100 percent what you guys go through but she also understands how to live on earth so she could actually help you bring those two things together so when i was talking to her about this i asked the guides why don't we put star seeds together why don't we help them find each other right i mean doesn't that make sense like like don't you i mean look this is what they're looking for they're looking for their tribe they're looking for someone like them because they know that the majority of people around them are not like them and yet they can't find their tribe they just look 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 and they can't find their tribe and i was asking the guides the spirit guides well you know with social media and youtube and all these things you know we could start connecting star seeds together so that they can find their tribe and i was really excited about it and i thought it was a great idea until they told me and it still is a great idea but there's there's a but here there's a reason we go back to the salt shaker there's a reason that they that they sprinkled them out right and the reason is because they want they want star seeds to be resistors or whatever this thing is uh that starts with a d um it, it's like a um a destabilizer basically right and and so they put you guys by yourselves or maybe with a, a sibling maybe one of your siblings would be a star seed but not typically but they put you in that family they put you in that community they put you in that neighborhood in that school in that job on that team whatever it is and they put you there by yourself because they want you to be you know that resistor send that energy out if you were able to go find all your friends if you were able to go find five more star seeds and be like whew thank god i found you guys y'all would just be sitting in the corner eating tofu you would not be out there you know breaking things up you'd be hiding and i wouldn't blame you i wouldn't blame you at all but that's why they didn't want you guys to find each other because you know you you would i mean anybody would right take take shelter literally what i show what i see is 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 like five people taking shelter together away from maybe and that's maybe that's where communes came from right i don't know um but but maybe maybe that's how that started um and maybe that's how certain groups get formed but but so now they're to the point where there's enough star seeds number one Number two, the environment is really, really hard right now. It's really, really, really hard for even old souls, uh, much less new souls. So um, they're, they're, they're happy to help. They're, they're happy to allow star seeds to start finding each other. Um, they're happy for them to, um, because they're also saying that you guys at this point you know your mission even though you don't know your mission you know your mission in your heart and and that you're going to you're going to do your mission right you're going to do what your 
propelled to do. It's like you just have an energetic push that's like, I need to go do this. So if you go find five star seeds now, you may sit in the corner and eat tofu, um, but you also likely to call the congressman and complain about the smelting plant that's polluting the river. Or, um, or you might be pulling your star seed resources to um, write letters um, to congressmen or to even uh, work on some sort of congressional uh, committee or a congressperson's um, campaign, right? So, so that has changed. They, they now feel like um, it's okay. So I would suggest personally, having interviewed and talked to so many of you, I would suggest that you guys, um, I'm asking them, I'm asking them because this is also kind of fraught with, um, mm hmm. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. I thought it would be easy. It's not that easy. Um, so I was going to suggest that you uh, create groups. Find your tribe. I was going to suggest you find your tribe. Okay. And I'm, I'm not going to take that back. I'm just going to walk it back a little bit. Um, so yes, uh, find your tribe. Um, and, and that might be not by looking for star seeds. It might be that you find your tribe through a metaphysical like yoga maybe you're just really into yoga and maybe those yoga people feel like your tribe okay right um so it's not through the word star seeds i'm I, i'm gonna ask them why in just a minute but it's through a shared experience or a shared hobby or a shared love it could even be it could even be um, opera or music or gardening. It could be anything, right? What's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to like magnetic, you know, you're going to be like, boom, okay, this person gets me, I get this person. And then you're going to start finding out about each other. And then you may never use the word star seed. You just may use the word compatible, right? This person just feels compatible. They have you and this person or this, these few people have similar viewpoints and interest okay um now all i can tell you about when i ask them about the star seed group they don't want you to um at this time okay i have to say at this time and this is june 1st 2021 at this time it's not a good idea to call yourself a star seed group. I don't know why. It's just not, it's not a good idea. It's a, I think there's too many, like I mentioned earlier, there's too many definitions of star seeds. I think that that term is going to be split into a hundred things, right? Or even if it's split into 20 things, star seed may not have the same meaning if it's split into 20 things and this is what's happening all over anyway right um we have the the lgbtqi i mean you know everything is being is is being even more disseminated even more specialized um so that's why that's one of the reasons why and then also i just feel like um going forward if you're still watching this video you deserve to you can hear this, I guess. Going forward, we really need to use our discernment. Discernment means truth. It means figuring out the truth, right? Feel it in your body. Feel it in your body, people. Use, use this as your lie detector. Use this as your discerning detector, right? So going forward, um, there's going to be a little bit more, um, not attacks, but a little bit more, you know, focus from some people that just want to be jerks on the metaphysical community. So if you go around and you have a big star seed group and it has meanings and all this stuff, it, it, it's likely to be infiltrated by somebody who just wants to be a jerk or wants to just wreak havoc, right? They just, they just want to be one of those people. And, um, and, and the guides don't want you guys, uh, to experience that. That's, that's what they're telling me. That's that, that's one reason. Another reason is also because 
star seed is too big of an umbrella. It's really going to be, um, it's really about you, where you are right now. Uh, bring, um, get, you know, be attracted and be in resonance with other people that are like you. Now, I will say this, going back to my uh, client that was thinking about doing star seed coaching, that's no problem. That That's good because that's you're seeking out somebody who kind of has information and has experience in things that you also have experienced. It's That's one person. You can understand if that person is in resonance with you or not. But if you have a group that just allows anybody to come into it with, with the understanding that you just be nice and be gentle and be respectful and uh, your own cognizance say that you're a star seed, which is exactly what star seeds would do, um, then you're going to have people that come in that are going to be duplicitous, that are going to be deceptive, okay? So, um, and, and I guess that can happen in any group. If you've got a group of people together that were mediums or psychics or whatever, you're always going to have somebody in there going forward, especially that maybe wants to cause wreak havoc in the group, okay? It's just, it's a, it's just a thing we're going through. I just wanted to mention that. So um, hopefully this has made sense to you guys. Hopefully it's been helpful. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have questions about this. I really try to answer, answer questions when in the comments. Um, I will do my best to answer those questions. Um, again, as I mentioned, this isn't based on a book. It's not based on anything that anybody's written. It's my experience with my clients and what I've noticed, and I think how we can help you know um, that you're a starseed type person and why you're here. And the last thing I would say is, again, you don't have to do anything. Be yourself. Honor yourself. That's what you're here to do, and that's how you will make a difference and raise the vibration of those around you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, you guys. Let me know if you found this helpful, if you'd like to see other videos like this, and please do me a favor and subscribe. It's going to help you know if I, if I do have videos out. If you hit the bell notification, you'll actually get notified when I go live or I have a new video out, whether it's a collaboration or whether it's by myself. This is how you can keep track. Otherwise, you're probably going to miss it. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for spending the time with me and blessings to you all. Take care.